The town of murals is doing things differently. Sheffield has unlocked virtual reality mural painting, fitting artists with headsets and kitting them with a virtual paintbrush, palette and easel. It has a scope for anybody to come in and have a go and experiment and just have that experience in a three-dimensional environment where you really feel like you are there. It started as a way around COVID restrictions, but it's endured. It's uh, had a really good um, um, review from different people uh, because it's new to them and they're a little bit scared. They come in and have a bit of a go on it and once they've uh, got onto it, they're hooked. They might have their headset on, but you can see the lights behind their eyes just bright, brighten up. And what, um, I mean, that in itself is awesome to watch. The approach is challenging even the most accomplished. I've certainly found myself absorbed and, and inter interested in it, got drawn into the process, but it's a little bit um, frustrating, sort of like when you try and brush your teeth with the wrong hand. Just everything, it usually was really sort of easy and natural, suddenly has this sort of extra obstacle of, of difficulty. Okay. There's a grand vision to project virtual murals at night and print some on walls around the town and even hopes of going worldwide. We have a situation where uh, an artist is doing street art in New York or London or over around the world, it can be transmitted here and we can also have a paint off here with the local artists so it becomes um, engaging and also it becomes a bit of a competition. Now in its 20th year, Mural Fest has about 130 murals in the area and while virtual reality is part of its future, it won't replace paint on the wall. Beck Pridham, ABC News.